as we mentioned on Tuesday, the Secretary of State of the United States, Rex Tillerson, will continue from the G7 to Moscow, where he'll meet his Russian counterpart, Sergei Lavrov. Let's speak about this now to Marcus Papadopoulos, who is a political commentator and editor of Politics First, a nonpartisan publication for the UK Parliament, is live with us from London. Very good to have you with us on the news grid. So we've had an escalation in rhetoric in the last few days, the Secretary of State of the United States, Rex Tillerson, taking a hard line against Russia on the eve of his diplomatic trip to Moscow, calling Russia incompetent for allowing Syria to hold on to chemical weapons and also accusing Russia of trying to influence elections in Europe using the same methods uh, as they allegedly did in the US. What kind of a meeting should we expect? Are we in for a showdown, you think, between these two men? Well, let me make a point very clear. No one knows if there was a chemical attack in Syria last week. We've been told there was, but who have told us that? The Islamist terrorists in Syria and their sponsors in the world, America, Britain, Turkey, Saudi Arabia, and Qatar. No proper court of law would accept that as evidence. It's quite simply non, uh, non nonsense. There is there an investigation a, a, ongoing now, objective though, from UN the suspected investigation. chemical attack. Now, in regard to... Let me just ask you this. Since you mentioned the chemical let attack, let there is an investigation going on. The Russians also have said that they would investigate. Can you tell us where Russia's investigations stand? Yeah. Excuse me. Excuse me. The argument has not been conclusively made by anyone that there was a chemical attack. The Americans said there was, and that is unacceptable for anyone to believe that. There needs to be a UN investigation. But in regard to relations between Russia and America, if anyone thought that the relations between the two countries couldn't get any worse, then think again. Because Trump's attack on Syria, which was in violation of international law and benefited only ISIS, has inflicted uh, irreparable damage uh, to relations between the two countries. And the Russian government is now uh, under the spotlight because it has to decide how does it respond uh, to Trump's attack. Mm. And there's a lot of people in Russia who want uh, President Putin to take a very decisive and firm response. And I suspect we will see that. The Russian embassy in the UK, Mark, has suggested that British and American attempts to deliver an ultimatum to the Kremlin this week could result in a real war. Again, your view, is this just all verbal dueling or do you really sense that this could lead to something serious? Because the Russians have said that if there's a new direct US intervention in Syria, that they would uh, respond. Are they going to respond? Well, we have a very serious uh, face-off between Russia and America over Syria. And of course, Russia and America are the two superpowers in the world. Neither side wants a world war because a world war between those two countries could quickly escalate into a nuclear war. But as I said, Russia uh, went, to, uh, went to war in Syria in defense of international law and also to fight uh, extremism, which is a threat not just to the Let Middle East, but a threat to the entire world. Russia and went into Syria Russia's because Russia Let me just here. yeah. Let me just uh, stop you there. Russia no, went no, into no, Syria. No, 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 please, excuse me. No, please, Mark. Wait, let me just Russia, please let me. Russia sent its military Mark, to Syria please. to fight for the legitimate government. Which because is the government of Syria asked them to go. Is, is let's just move on because we could go on uh, uh, for a long time about this. Please, Mark. Mark, please. A government. A legitimate government. Okay. A, a lot of people would disagree with you on this, of course. Mark, please. A lot of people would disagree with you. Please, let me just ask my question because I want our viewers to know what's happening here, okay? You mentioned the chemical attack, the suspected chemical attack, as we've said. The Russians have said they would conduct their own investigation into this. Where does that stand now? Well, uh, investigations of this nature, they take a long time. And we have to wait and see what the Russian report actually uh, concludes. But as I said, how did Western media, for example, an hour after the alleged chemical attack was made public, how did they know that the Syrian government was responsible? That is absolutely laughable. Okay. And also, the other point that needs to be made is this, is that Syria does not have chemical weapons. And that was confirmed by the United Nations in 2014. Okay, but of course, you know, a lot of eyewitnesses have uh, described what's happened in the 
in, uh, uh, in uh, that chemical Sorry. perspective, chemical attack. But Marcus, please, let's leave it there because a lot of people will disagree with you. Let's let uh, the investigation conclude whatever needs to be concluded. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. Thank you, Mark. Thank you. Thank you very much for your time. Mark Papadopoulos, a political commentator, joining us there from London and all the ladies.